everyone welcome to our channel on management cases we have with us sandhya shishadri who is working for amruta vishwavidya pritam as assistant manager learning and development for past 5 years she has a overall experience of 15 years in learning and development and various other domains welcome to our channel thank you so much for the introduction so sandhya you did a project with middle earth hr to complete the master trainer and facilitator program the name of the project is mindset is a skill set for life and work which two mindsets are you comparing here uh, as per carol dweck she has done research about 30 years on this topic uh, she has coined two terms fixed and growth mindsets so what she says is people with fixed mindset will just stop putting in any effort because they think everything is in bond however the growth mindset people will always put in effort and they believe that they can get better day by day and also when it compare comes to the comparison uh, she says that you know it's important for me to compare myself am i better than yesterday am i going to be better than what i am today than comparing with others because i just can't compare a fish and a monkey climbing a tree because fish will obviously fail because it has some other quality in it which monkey doesn't have that's excellent sandhya carol's work also mentions about the ceo disease we are very curious to know about this disease can you tell something about this correct uh ceo disease is a interesting term because once i reach some level in the organization i start feeling that i am good i shouldn't be making any mistakes i shouldn't be vulnerable i should be perfect in everything and also how do you you know uh, identify or how do you self diagnose that is when you stop getting feedback from your team that sir or ma'am you need to improve on this or we can work on this when you know people remain silent because they are scared of you so we should be open for feedback and willing to work on it yes sandhya ceo disease is quite interesting term and what do you suggest to improve learning at this level and achieve organizational goals certainly so as per johari window we have two windows uh, which is not known to ourselves one is the blind self and one is the unknown self so identifying our strengths is definitely good however you know taking the feedback or uh, taking the areas of improvement becomes very crucial for self development and also to manage the others because as a leader or manager it is very important to understand the pulse of people to work together to achieve the organizational goals in your project you are talking about uh, multiple types of mindset can you uh, elaborate on this and explain us the different types of mindsets the person has certainly so what i have highlighted here is the challenge mindset where uh, you know you are willing to accept any kind of challenge uh, i was just watching dr abdul kalam's video on leadership so he said that initially when they wanted to launch the satellite it just landed in bay of bengal and how dr dhawan you know faced the uh, press and he said we will definitely be successful in the next year and they did that so that is the way you accept that you when were not successful and you try to be better the next time like our uh, edison did he always said that you know i didn't fail 10000 times but i just found out 10000 times how not to uh, do the thing how not to invent a bulb so he he never got discouraged and also i what i'm trying to Uh, do here is to start with i want everybody to just visualize alva edison while he invented the bulb so uh, most people they say that 
he was a loner probably he was wearing a white coat and the place was messy uh, and things like that that is what for comes to many people's mind however the situation uh, his biographer paul says that he uh, was working in a corporate sponsored world class like uh, lab and also he was with 30 trained and knowledgeable scientists when when he invented the bulb so the paradigm shift should happen we should focus on th- on anything with a different perspective yeah uh, so willing to change is an important thing because uh, some time back or uh, decades ago walkman was so popular and then now we don't have any walkman for that matter cd or anything because the technology keeps changing so willing to open for change is very crucial and i really like this uh, who moved my cheese you know that talks about how to manage your change and be open for it so the other kind of mindset is leading you know an approach to uh, pursuing to encourage people so as i already told you um companies very big companies and the companies known for uh, their technology their innovative products and services they all encourage people to make mistakes because as uh, this one stop uh i what are the other key mindsets you are mentioning in the project sandhya yeah uh, i would like to start this with a quote uh, which einstein said a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new uh, a leader should always be encouraging and supporting the failures it's not that you encourage but people should be you know uh, courageous enough to try something new and that is when you can come up with the new thinking as i have mentioned in the uh, earlier slide only when you have the new thinking you can get something new pro- new product or new uh, service or whatever uh, coming to the solutions mindset you know again it comes boils down to the same thing how a leader should be uh are, is the leader providing the solution for your issues or uh, is he or she demotivating you that you know why did you get this problem at all uh collaborative uh, now the fashion terminology or the terminology in use is servant leadership wherein you are not bossing around but you are showing them how to do it what to do and uh together you are trying to get something which is useful for everybody or for the development of technology or the entire world in general so yeah can you elaborate on the methodology used here and uh, how to build a growth mindset certainly uh, as it is a training for program for mid level and uh, high level leaders it will be definitely on the principle of andragogy collaborative learning and experiential learning so most part of the workshop includes activities video clips thinking sharing the experiences so that it can cement the learning for a longer time thank you so much sandhya for elaborating on the project and congratulations for this project being selected as one of the best projects from mudir thichar now as we leave uh, one last question how was mudir program useful in designing this program yeah i felt that you know as soon as i saw the brochure i felt that this is going to be very useful because uh, i definitely knew how to train people because i have trained around 10000 global em- employees when i was working with some of the best corporates and then moved to academics so what i learned here is how you design your program for the entire day or for the entire week or whatever by minute to minute you need to plan how do you do that what is the combination that you should be using 
what kind of methods that you should be using what kind of training aids that you should be using all these information was uh, definitely very informative and very effective as well thank you again and all the best for your future endeavors thank you thank you for your time sir thank you